hey guys what's up in today's video we're gonna learn how to upload excel's data in our database in laravel project so first thing we have to do is to install mart website excel library in our laravel project you can easily install mart website excel library by using this command just copy this command and paste it in your terminal hit enter so after some time it would be downloaded or installed in your laravel project i have already installed it so i don't need it i gonna close it as of now if you want to check whether this uh, mart website excel library is installed in your project or not so just go to composer.json file and look for mart website mart website so you can see here it's already installed in my project and the version of this library is 3.1 now get back to our uh, functionality and now we want to upload our laravel excels data in our database so just click on imports and click on 5 minute quick startup you have to create a file for import functionality in your laravel project just copy this whole code and paste it in your working folder but you can see here it's already giving me name of model if you don't want any specific model in your file you don't need to use it just remove it and you want different name for your file you can do that as well such as excel import i have already created this file as you can see here uh, excel import so i don't need to use this command again but to show you guys i gonna hit this command and as you can see it says that import already exists so as you hit enter it would create a import folder import folder in your app folder and inside imports folder there will be a file excel import.php here we have and one more thing that I have already created a controller for this functionality upload excel and I have written code here how to get the submitted form excel data in our controller so now let's jump to our view file and here we are this is our view file and I have declared a form in this view file it contains input tag this one here right and I have given name of this input tag as file you can see here name equal to file right now what I gonna do I gonna upload an excel sheet in our laravel project by using that input tag of html so this file contains all this information uh, name of employee email of employee and the employee id so we have john doe and marty stark and the first row contains the name of column right so i have already created a database for this functionality if i go back to my local hp my admin and if i click here you can see i have already created a table with the name employee records and this contains uh, three column actually four column id is primary key and the other columns are name email and employee id this one already has some data so what i gonna do i gonna remove or empty this table now you can see it's already blank because i was just practicing on this functionality so before giving to check whether this feature is working perfectly or not so now you can see this table is completely blank and now what i gonna do i gonna upload this excel file in my project and excel file is inside uh, pictures and this is the name of file info.csv i'm gonna just choose this file and i'm gonna submit this file but before submitting i want to check what's the data we have inside excel file so what i gonna do 
uh, you can see I have mentioned that the root for action attribute is root Excel in my web.php file Excel this is root name of the root so this says that it is submitting uh, this information inside Excel function of upload Excel controller right so let's go to upload Excel controller app http upload excel controller and here is the name of function excel so you can see that i am getting information by using dollar request file if you want to check here we can check here dd and the variable name and i hit submit so you can see uh, all the information regarding this excel file and one more thing that while uh, defining forms information you have to mention mention encryption type multi-part form data if you don't mention this in your form then you won't be able to get all the information you will just get the name of file if you want all this information then you have to mention encryption type form data now we are inside this and we can see that this variable contains all this information and now what I gonna do I gonna pass this variable in our newly created uh, Excel file so you can see here I have used this import function and I want to tell you that this Excel is coming from here mart website Excel library right and in this function I am passing object of this Excel import class from this one this is our newly created Excel import file and it is available inside this import folder go inside here and when you create this file you will already get this collection method automatically right so now let's check what are the information we are receiving here good okay guys and and this is a variable we are passing this variable inside this import function and we have also the object of this export import class this one right now again I go back to form and again import this file and submit here so you can see we get this array and this is 0 index 1 index and 2 index right so as of now we are here if you want to check again that are we in right controller or right function I just type testing and reload this page again yeah you can see we are at the right yes we are at the right function okay now let's check what are the information this array contains in zero at zero index this contain name of the column of excel file i am talking about this column name email in and employee id right and the first index contain uh, information of first row of excel sheet this one John Doe, John at gmail.com, employees, em, employee ID is employee 2011. Right, and the second index contain information about second row of Excel sheet. So you can see here if you upload your Excel sheet using Mart website Excel library, you will get information in this way. Always zero index contains information about the first row, second index contain information about the second row, and the third index contain information about third row but as you know we don't need this name employee id employee email or employee name because we have already created this in our table so what we gonna do we gonna use or we gonna upload all this information in our table so let's get back to our function and what we gonna do we gonna run for each loop in this function and dollar as dollar key value
right and let's check what we have in dollar key and dollar value if I reload this page again it says that dollar key this one is having value 0 which is index 0 of array and it contains information of row 1 of excel sheet so you know guys we don't need the, this information because we want to upload information about employee IDs like this and like this we don't need this information so we want information after row 1 of excel sheet like row 2 and row 3 what we gonna do we gonna skip information of zero index of array so if I write if dollar key is not equal to zero then I want to perform operation on those indexes of array so what I want to do here I will use query builder you can use eloquent model as well if you want but I am more into query builder stuff so what I gonna do I gonna use use DB and you have to mention in which table you want to insert your records and name of table is employee record and you have to write insert command I have already written this command in another file so you can use this one also or that one also it's up to you you have to just maintain the right condition so it says that employee records is name of table and by using yes but you want to know what does value we have at value 0 or value 1 so let's check here dd value so as you can see in this condition it says that if the if the key doesn't have value 0 which means if key does not have this information then I am allowed to insert records in my table because I don't want this record I don't want this record of index 0 in my table because it is not worthy to store this information in our table because I have already these columns in my table okay so I am skipping all the information inside zero index of array that's why I use condition greater than zero or you can also use not equal to zero it's up to you you just have to mention right condition now let's check what are the information we have here so I have used DD to stop the code here to check what are the information we have I again reload it so it says that we have this information if you want to check what's the uh, key value then you can also use as we know it is row first of excel sheet because at key one we have information about this row so I again refresh this and it says that at this position at key one we have information about row 2 of excel sheet so these are the information so you can see at 0 we have name of employee at 1 we have email of employee and at 2 index we have employee id so on the basis of this index number I have put this variable according to its respective column name so in this way we will upload our information in our table so now what I gonna do let's check again this table is empty if I show you whole functionality from scratch let's go back and let's whether I have removed this code or not yes I have removed it so there is no obstacle now in our controller there is no DD function and in our Excel import there is no DD so we can be assured that our code will run smoothly without any impediment 
so what I gonna do again just upload this info.csv and hit submit it says that inserted successfully because I have mentioned here if everything work, works perfectly here inside here then so this message in echo inserted successfully and now let's go back to our table and if I check here so you can see all the information of this excel sheet information about row 2 and row 3 has been successfully inserted in our table i hope guys you like this functionality thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe